I'm currently 100 feet underground on the way to the world's deepest hotel, and I've still got 1,400 feet to go. And behind me is the entrance. Located in Snowdonia, North Wales, what was once a slate mine has been transformed into a subterranean sanctuary, which sits at a whopping 1,500 feet underground, which is actually like two Eiffel Towers deep. But let me tell you, getting there is no easy task. We had to get one cab, two trains. So we got the wrong train. Another two trains. <laughs> and then a stunning drive through Snowdonia, where we had a 40 minute hike ahead of us to the entrance of the mine. Whilst the mine officially closed many years prior, some of the miners decided to stay up until 1983. So the miners are gone. Let's go, what's yeah, the point yeah. of being here? Are you born and bred Welsh? You have a bit of a Scandinavian twang. <laughs> It's getting awfully hot, Arthur. Should we take our tops off? As some of you keen-eyed viewers may have noticed, I am not alone in my adventure. Joining me is world-renowned spelunker Arthur TB, famous for his unparalleled bravery. Oh my god! His sublime spatial awareness, and his unmatched allegiance to the Conservative Party. <laughs> I've literally not. Who better to be my companion as we venture into the void? The place that we, you're going into today is actually called the Slaughterhouse. <laughs> For what reason? For what? Wow. Looks like my house on Minecraft. What's the largest animal that resides in that lake? Loch Ness. <laughs> what? On a journey such as this one, you can never be too prepared. So it is time for a wholesome bag tour. Expedition food, climbing rope, head torch and flashlight, multi-tool, diamond pickaxe, and another flashlight. Oh, God. Actually, sorry. No, that's, uh, that's my flashlight. Apologies. All right. So the journey, the perilous journey begins. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Wait, we, we're getting locked in. We're getting locked in. Getting locked in. Oh. God. It looks like we're in the, that bit in the Chamber of Secrets. No, no, don't say that, because in Chamber of Secrets, there was a snake. <laughs> What's down there? I don't want to go down there anymore. But the depths were calling my name. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. And we're fairly confident that that stays. In the interest of staying alive, we listened intently and clipped ourselves onto the safety rope. One mistake here would be sure to result in a horrible death. So, you're going to follow me across to the first fault. I was trying my best not to look down, but the darkness drew the corner of my vision. Oh boy, can I be honest? Yes. I am not enjoying myself. Oh, I already feel like wonky. This is not fun. Slowly but surely we all made it across. I don't like that, Gary. But I knew that was only the beginning. Oh my God. It's like that tiny first room in Willy Wonka. That's the end of the rope. I like that. That means you're safe. That you can take good. your clips off. Deeper into the rabbit hole we went. Oh boy, is this where I'm going? And apparently this rabbit needs to lay off the carbs. <laughs> Chip, the real. Oh, deal, isn't it? It's a tight squeeze, isn't it? Can I be honest? I can smell my own feet. For a brief moment, I felt okay, but that was all to come crashing down soon enough. Oh, we at the jumping part. No, I've decided against it. The situation had become clear. In order for us to progress any further into the mine, we had to jump off this edge into an almost 100 foot drop into complete darkness. We're at the jumping part. Chipper, how are you feeling? I don't think I'm gonna jump. I don't think I'm gonna do it. No. What if I have a heart attack? I'll explain what you mean. I don't want to see to you anymore, like, I don't, you have ruined my day. If you're a little bit, like, nervous or anything like that. Me? Hey? No just way. Don't, just don't look down. Right. Yeah? <laughs> the mine, in fact, earned its eerie nickname, the Slaughterhouse, due to the vast number of deaths that occurred within the chambers. Leading cause of death? Falling. So just one, don't, just how, like, oh, I don't know, it's just too much for me. Chippo's <laughs> really going through it. Sorry, I'm, my mind's going so fast, I can't even think. Are you actually really scared? Of course I'm really scared. This isn't my kind of thing. I'm just trying to be out of my comfort zone, you know? It's your whole video. Doesn't mean I not I can enjoy it. It's fine. I yeah, don't, it is fine. I can hear the echo. Yeah. I'm not going down the sink, I swear to God, I'm not doing this. You guys are just batshit insane, like all of you. Are you both looking happy? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my word! I'm so scared. Are you 21 stone? I'm 21 stone, but I'm shitting myself. You got this, Chippo. I'm too scared. No, I don't think I can do this. Yes, come I'm on, Chip. There you go, it's easy. Left. Yeah, it's 
Oh, I can't do this. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, you're no. there, you're there, you're there, you're there. Chip, come, come on. Up now. Chip, you've got, it's, yeah, it's impossible to come back up. Just no, it is no. impossible, I can't. Take, take I can't a few more <laughs> To stall my impending doom, I bartered with Arthur and managed to convince him to go before me, promising him £1,000 if I backed out. Down the ladder, onto the platform. Yeah. I don't ever mind giving him a grant. <laughs> you're such a fucking beast, man. It's gonna be so I only one day wish I could be like you. You're an inspiration to me, pal. It's gonna be fun. You ready for this, Chip? Good luck, buddy. Well, I thought that that would make the leap of faith easier. Can I go? Yeah, go. Oh, it catches you so quick. Oh. I was wrong. What did he say? <laughs> Is he alive? So, when you step... It literally just like, it cradles you down, basically. That's really satisfying. You're gonna mm. love it. If you're not love now, I'll buy a drink tomorrow. By the way, Chip, it catches you before you feel like you're starting to fall. I stood over the edge of this seemingly bottomless pit and regretted ever coming here. Okay. You lean forwards and it just swings you down on the flame. Heart pounding, oh. palm sweating. Nice deep breath. Breath shaking. Close your eyes if you want to. It was now or never. Okay, push yeah. me, push me, push me, push me. Push me, yeah. Say push loud. Me. Push me, push me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking yeah. go. Yeah. Let's go! I fucking did it! Are you glad you did it? <laughs> yeah! Oh, my legs are like jelly. Let's fucking go! Yeah. <laughs> that was one of my biggest ever fears, like, overcome. And as quick as it takes to fall 100 feet, I had conquered my fears and I felt ready for whatever else the mine had in store for me. If you had gone, I would have been like, oh, this is freaky at the top. But I knew. <laughs> Who put that there? Honestly, the 5G down here is shit. What goes through this pipe? Um, it used to be steam. This used to be steam engine powered, yeah. The car? And why was the car today? Um, it's literally wedged in that, it had um... a bit of an accident. Oh my god, wait, yeah. <laughs> That's oh actually the god. car. That's how you used to drive back in your day, Chip. Uh, only 1,200 feet to go. People with a foot fetish are going to love this video because you don't stop talking about all these feet. Right. I like the pipe. The pipe's aiding me. It keeps us where we need to be. Some deeper parts of the mine are completely flooded, but we are assured that there is no danger of the water rising to a level where we will be trapped. Still, it's hard not to oh worry. God. This is deep. Jesus. All them years practicing twerking and stuff actually paid off. This is like Assassin's Creed. You should wait a bit. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you are going so slowly. Bro thinks he's Nostradamus. <laughs> you don't know who Nostradamus is? He's the guy that predicted 9-11. You are so weird. I hope the um, the hotel has a dry cleaners. And I had to hope they were experts because I was about to soil myself again. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hang, hang on a second. Yeah, there's, oh, there's, more, there's more drops. So you're basically going to have to jump from there to so really have a good run off. Are you insane? And then you're going to have to jump on there, wiggle that around, and then jump on the That's next so one. That's so fun. Mate, go look on the edge of it. Why are you doing this? I'm scared Why again. Why are you doing You've this? You've just gone. This one's worse. What if you miss? Well, you're, you're attached onto this. If you miss, you just don't, you just fall down, but you're like dangling. This is insane. Are we, are we like floating? Are we like attached to something still? No. No, okay. Well, you know, I didn't want to be attached anyway. Why don't you just take it all off and I'll just jump off? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, if your life depended on it, you were, but do you reckon you could cross this? No. Well, good job that we're not going to go across then. We're not going to cross. I actually love you. <laughs> <laughs> we planned on wow. We planned on freaking you, guys are you out. Awful, awful. Okay, so where are we going? Down here. Down. This is the upsell. Ooh. Arthur didn't hang around this time, and he began his abseil smoothly. Oh my! Soft. Oh! <laughs> oh wow, that's actually freaky. How is it, Arthur? Really nice when you're here, because you feel very safe. I can't believe he did that. This man is made of he's made of steel. So we're about 300 feet down right now. Arthur's obviously just gone maybe another 100 foot down. You're doing that for an awfully long time. I imagine Chip's gonna take another half an hour or so. Walk forward. Yeah. You literally just did the work. Yeah. One. Uh, there's a thing by your arm. Yeah. There you go. No, no, let go. Go. no yeah, you're not. That's fine. You can do it. Just like sit down. Nice. Okay. You're good. There you go. Nice one, mate. Yeah. I did it, Brampton! Yeah! Arthur! I'm here, mate. <laughs> Let's go! There you go. Hey, that one didn't take nearly as long. How was it? It was just like... The first lean back is a bit creepy, it's a bit isn't it? a lean back. That, 
I got the two things I wanted to do done. With both of my feet back on solid ground, I could begin to take in some of the history of the mine. So they were up there just digging? Yeah, just digging. Well, if they need any help. <laughs> you want that? <sighs> yeah. Well, if they need any help. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you nearly went a long way there, buddy. And a long way we went indeed. We are now 1200 feet underground. Descending into chamber. Hello. After chamber. Oh, they got a French horn. After chamber. That was quite something, hey, pal. There's a building over there. Oh my god, that's horrific. I'll just tell you that, that's 2,000 per calendar month in London on my room. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even one bedroom. And it's got no fucking roof. No roof, you'll probably get 50 pound off. Oh, I wouldn't drink it though. Queen Mary's Cafe. That's what it was called? Yep. Oh wow, well I'll leave a review on TripAdvisor. <laughs> I like it in there. I've got a thing for interior design. I see a TV there and a single seat uh, recliner. <laughs> <laughs> that should do it. I can see a horse actually. Oh wow. yeah. They're like, I think they're three dogs. I'm gonna be honest, I will be really shocked if we don't find one dick. This is the last descent. We're at about 1300 feet, 200 more feet, and we will be at the world's deepest hotel. Oh, Nelly. After spouting some dodgy pop trivia. You know, like when Michael Jackson, they call him the most flexible pop singer of all time. Another thing, another worrying aroma. I can smell my own feet right now. And partaking in an activity enjoyed by men for centuries. Oh, oh that, was cool. that was probably the best thing of the entire trip. <laughs> we had made it to the fortified steel door of the world's deepest hotel. Oh, is this it? Oh, here we go. We've made it. Ready? Yes. Oh, boy. Holy smokes. Oh, my God, you got fairy lights. 1,500 feet underground. We finally made it wow. to the world's deepest hotel. <laughs> oh, my it's God. It's so cozy looking. It's very nice. Hello. Hello. We finally made it. With 1,500 feet of earth above our heads, this hotel was an oasis of metamorphic rock. For the first time today, we could finally unwind. I need the bathroom. Should we go to the toilet and look at it and then... Yeah, we should, we should. Before and after. <laughs> but not before a certified hotel tour. So apparently this is the, uh, this is the old toilet. So let's check this old bad boy out. Oh. Like, like, how did they build this 1500 feet underground? They go, hey, whoa! Wow. So that's the pooping toilet that you put the bag on, and I think that's the wee wee toilet. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Do you need a wee wee? <laughs> oh, oh, wow, that's so really cozy. That's really nice. Dual bedroom. It's very warm as well. I like that a lot. That is better than my bedroom at home. Oh, sorry. mate, if you thought that one was cozy, look at this one. You know what? I love the fact that that's probably a real sheep that they skinned. <laughs> Really pleasantly surprised by those rooms. Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> Who exactly wants to sit down here on their own? I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty scary. You going first. You want me to open sesame? <laughs> Hello. Hello, Homora. Hello, Homora. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh my, God. my word. Should we bunk up in here instead? We can, it's just one bed. Our legs might touch for the night, but I actually. I like don't that. care, mate. I'd much rather stay in here. Together? Yeah. Well, this is just one bed, though. What's like the difference between one bed and two singles? I thought the gay jokes are jokes. Oh. Wait, are you not? After a long day, it was time for us to go to bed. Although there was a surprising amount of noise coming from next door. <sighs> Holy shit, these are gonna smell so bad, bro. I'll give you 50 pounds right now if you sniff it. I can smell it from here. 50 quid. <laughs> Yeah, I, I take it back. I think you've got it. I think you should go get your own. Uh, what do you mean I should go get my own? Go get your own room. Why? Because your feet stink. So? Okay, just rinse them in the sink at least. Yeah, just go. 20 to 1 right now, so we're going to wind down. We've got to be up at 8 o'clock. Breakfast is at 8 o'clock, and then we're getting out of this goddamn mine. And I will hopefully be able to wash my feet. Right. Good night. Turn the camera off. Turn it, turning it off. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night. <laughs> Good morning. I'm freezing. Well, it's time to get back to the top. As the sun ascended over the Welsh mountains, we had some breakfast, got our gear back on, and began our very own ascension. But not before getting rid of some excess weight. Toilet situation here isn't the best. This is the, the potty. 
This you have to put around the potty and you kind of just have to Oh god, this must be a joke. It doesn't fit. I must be doing something wrong. Maybe the other bags. Oh, no, that wasn't the real bag. Here's the real bag. Ha <laughs> ha. Now we're talking. Our journey to the top begins now. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't even be against another poo. A what? What? You know what? I forgot just how scary this actually is. It feels like we never really left. We didn't. I know we, I know we, we didn't. I know We're we still did. here. But we weren't going to be for long. On our merry way we went, wading through water and scrambling up waterfalls. If I wasn't wet before, I definitely am now. The women watching you climb this. <laughs> With what? ease. You, you're talking about the, uh, the waterfall, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The journey to the surface was a lot smoother than the way down had been, although there was still a few mishaps. Have you just fired? <laughs> yeah. Oh sorry. my god, that is disgusting. Oh my god. There's nowhere for the air to go. <laughs> so you're what? You're gonna kill everyone with carbon monoxide? Oh, oh yeah. Oh god. I've got real good birthing hips. Yeah, I think so. I could have probably been this a woman. This boy waffles more than I've ever heard in my life. If we were going to make it back to the surface, we had to dig in. What are the chances you're going to carry me up this? Absolutely not. Put one foot in front of the other. It's a bit of a trek, this. And just keep climbing. We were going to win this uphill battle side by side. I'm working on railroads. Oh, the live long, long day. day. Are we close? Wait, is that sunlight? Oh my god, we're so close! It's daylight! I think we're out there. Of course it's daylight, you idiot! What is it gonna be night time? You've been to sleep. I, I, I'm just excited the fact that I'm we've excited. got daylight! Why has he reacted like that? Oh, oh here we go. yes! And so there it was. The outside world was teasing us with its bright open space and its fresh air bleeding into the cramped confines of the mine entrance. On one hand, I was happy to be back with the sky above my skull. I need to get oh, out of here. Daylight! Oh. Whoa! But another part of me was sad to say goodbye to the serenity of the sanctum that was down below. Wow! Whilst hotels get higher and higher and even more luxurious, what Go Below are doing is truly unique. Every now and then it's important to get back down to earth, if you are, pardon the pun, and get lost in the excitement of a good old adventure. <laughs>